Guitar Review, I'm Kev Sanders. Today we're checking out a gorgeous new addition to the Spectre Euro series, the Euro 4 LT. Back in the late 70s, New York luthier Stuart Spectre and Ned Steinberger designed a bass that was versatile enough to meet the needs of the modern bassist. Spectre still have a workshop in New York making custom instruments, but for a while now they've outsourced much of the manufacturing to plants in Korea and the Czech Republic, where the Euro series is made. This is one of the most recent additions to that range, the Euro Series 4 LT. Our review base has a tiger eye stain finish and features a European alder body, North American flame maple top, and a thin layer of walnut between the two. It has a three piece maple through neck construction with an ebony fretboard and spectre crown inlays. There are 24 frets and a 34 inch scale length and features Bartolini pickups and a dark glass electronics preamp. This price for the four string LT is £2,380, including a gig bag. So with that out of the way, let's hear a few more playing examples before I give my thoughts. My immediate impression was that this is one drop-dead gorgeous base. The stunning tiger stripe maple top, stained and finished to a high gloss, looks amazing. And taking a closer look, I was impressed by the top-notch materials and the components used throughout. I love the way the gold hardware matches the polished brass nut and the rich amber colour of the body. One thing that's immediately striking is the long slim neck. It's two octaves, but the small body gives the impression of it being longer than the standard 34 inch scale it actually is. Unplugged, the bass is loud and has an amazing sustain, but amplified, it's absolutely stunning. 
The low end is deep and provides rock solid foundation whilst the top end is sweet and crisp and stays smooth even when you dig in, almost as if a little studio compression has been added. Soloing the front pickup gives you a fat rich tone which works well for almost any contemporary style of music, while turning up the bridge pickup adds a barking Jacko like mid definition. There's a huge range of sounds easily and quickly accessible from the simple but super versatile preamp and however you set the controls, the basic sound is always clear, defined and usable. To me, the Euro 4LT possesses a voice that is almost the definition of a modern bass sound. It inspires confidence and seems to really flatter the player. Unlike some high-end instruments which can be so responsive that they expose every little flaw in your technique. Overall, there's a sense of quality and the amazing sustain and the harmonic richness of the sound. If it's possible for a bass to sound expensive, I'd say this is as good a candidate as any. Playability-wise, once you're used to the small contoured and curved body and the neck's long slim feel, the Euro 4 LT is a delight to play. The 24 fret neck, which meets the body at the 20th fret, gives completely unhindered access right to the top of the fingerboard, making this a great choice for those who like to solo up in the upper registers. Despite the weight of the maple through neck, the chambering of the body wings means it's not as heavy as you might expect. So whether you're sat or standing, this is a bass you could gig or practice with for hours on end. Whether the dipped in toffee deep gloss look is to your taste or not, there's no denying that the build quality of this bass is essentially flawless. While you do enjoy a reduction in price by choosing a European built Spectre or an American made one, you certainly don't suffer a reduction in quality. It's also really good to see top spec hardware and electronics used such as the custom wound Barcelona pickups and the dark glass preamp, voiced specially for Spectre and among the very best available. This bass isn't what you'd call cheap, but it's not that expensive either for a through neck bass of this sort of quality from one of the most established names in the business. The versatile nature and the superb playability means this could be a great choice for any pro or semi-pro bass player who needs a classy and contemporary sound for either stage or studio. I really enjoyed my time with this bass and frankly I didn't want to hand it back. I think it looks great and it sounds even better. But what do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so we can notify you of our future videos. And let us know if there's any piece of bass gear you'd like to see us feature. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Bass Guitar Review.